Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how to check our Schoology profile for our work email to make sure it is in there. And if it's not in there, we're going to learn steps we can take to get it in there properly. So I'm here in Schoology and I want to make sure that my work email is associated with my account. So I'm going to click this drop down here and go into my settings. From there, under primary email, I can see this is blank. This might be blank. This might have an alternate email in it, but we do want to put the at monet.k12 email in here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and type out my work email ca.us and we'll save those changes. Now if you get a green notification you are good to go and you can keep using Schoology. However I got a red warning letting me know that this email address is associated with another account. So I need to go into that account and rescue that email. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new browser here just to make things nice and easy and keep logins separate. And I'm going to go to www.schoology.com and I'll click login. On this page here, it's going to ask me for my email or my username. So I'll go ahead and type in my work email. And I can try a password I think I might have associated with this free account. However, in this case here, I forgot my password. So I'm going to go ahead and click forgot password. And I will type out my work email again and say send my login information. Pretty soon I'll get an email that I can check with a link. Here in my email I have a link that I can use. I'm going to go ahead and click and highlight this link. I'm going to go ahead and copy it because it's not clickable. And in that same browser where I have Schoology open, I'll open a new tab, paste this link, and go to it. It's going to let me know that it's going to log me in one time and allow me to reset my password. So I go ahead and click login. And I'll change my password to something that I'll remember and go ahead and click Submit. Now I'm in this account and I can go ahead and free up that work email. So I'm going to go into my profile here and go into Settings. And here's my work email address. I'm going to go ahead and clear that out. And I could type in a personal email address um, or in this case here, I'm going to do my Hancock.a, but I'm going to do at the mcs4kids.com email address. The nice thing about this is this still goes to my regular email, but it's an alternate email, so I don't have to worry about my at Monet one being taken. I'll go ahead and click Save Changes. It's going to let me know I have a verification email. Just keep an eye out for that and click on that to verify this email for this account. Now I can go back to my District Schoology account, and I happen to have that open still here, and I still have that red warning letting me know this primary email address is already associated with another account. I'll just go ahead and try that again. Now that I know this email is free, I'll click Save Changes or retype it out if I have to. And now that I've saved those changes, I get my green notification letting me know my changes have been saved. And all I have to do is keep an eye out for that verification email. Once I get that verification email as seen here, all I have to do is click on this link here to activate that account and finalize having that email associated with my account. Thank you for watching this quick video on how to check whether or not your at Monet email is associated with your Schoology account and how to fix it if it's not. See you next time.